Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make these meat-based, carnivore-ish holiday bars. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose 145 pounds. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you check out some of my other videos and returning viewers, welcome back. I hope you like today's video. Okay, so today I am going to make some holiday bars. And I know for some of you, you might think it's too you know, far away from the holidays. Well, in fact, Canadian Thanksgiving is two days away. We start ours early. We have a long celebration season. So uh, October, this Monday, October the 9th, I believe, is Canadian Thanksgiving and I'm making some special bars. I already made these, but I wanna show you how to make them too because they turned out really nicely. So the base of the bar is any type of animal fat. You can use butter, you can use tallow. I've, I'm going to use half tallow, half butter today, but these ones that I made, uh, last week. These are all tallow. Uh, I've been keeping them in the freezer so that I would have a supply of them. The other thing that's in here, and it's very flexible, I've got bacon pieces in here. I have brisket pieces. I have, the, of course you're wondering what the red stuff is. This is the only part of it that is not carnivore. Uh, this is, you know, what you would call animal based. And of course the cranberries are completely optional. But since they are a holiday bar, they make them so festive. There's no sweet taste. Uh, one bar about this size has 0.4 total carbs. I will give you the complete macros later. So this is what you would call um, animal based from what I understand. And don't worry, I'm not switching over to meat and fruit. <laughs> this, is, this is an exception for Thanksgiving. And uh, the, the cranberries, uh, they just burst into your mouth. Even just having a couple of little pieces on each bar gives a burst of flavor, zero sweetness. I mean, they are tart, but, but somehow make this taste like a treat. So uh, I leave it up to you if you want to include them or not, but let's go to the stove. The first thing we have to do is melt our, our tallow. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, you can use any animal fat. Um, I'm trying to not use butter as much as I used to uh, because it does, I'm, I'm going dairy free uh, this, well, for, the next, you know, for the foreseeable future anyways. However, I am almost out of my tallow. Um, I use carnivore crisp uh, tallow. They call it their grass-fed beef butter. It is tallow and that's what I've been using. So I have some more coming, but in the meantime, I didn't have quite enough. So I'm using half a stick of butter, which is the same as two ounces, which is the same as four tablespoons. And I'm going to do half and half. If you wanted to do all butter you could, it would just be a complete stick of butter. Eight tablespoons, four ounces. I'm just going to melt this. I've just got it on medium heat. Just going to, um, once this melts, I will let the butter slightly brown before I add the tallow to it. So you'll notice as I kind of move the foam away, you can see it's getting a nice um, amber color. And I think this is about where I'm going to stop with the browning. I just want it slightly browned. And I'm going to now add my tallow. That is uh, two ounces of tallow or four tablespoons. And actually, I'm just going to turn the oven off. I don't really want it to brown anymore. You can go a lot darker if you want. But I just want a hint of the that sort of toffee flavor. Some people say caramel when the butter is browned. It'll be nice. Okay, so everything is melted. 
And now we will go back to the counter and assemble our bars. Okay, so we have everything here. I'm going to go over what's all in this. Uh, so we have our base that I will pour into this little mold here. It's not really a mold, but it'll do. There are some bacon bits in it. Uh, these are just bacon bits that I got from Costco. There's a quarter cup. You have some leftover bacon. I know, haha, ha, nobody has leftover bacon. If you had some leftover bacon, you could crumble up your own bacon and use that. I'm using the Carnivore Crisp Beef brisket crumbs. I, I actually really like these. Um, they're not too salty, so they're gonna be good for this recipe. And I like to kind of crumble them up a little bit more before I dump them in there. You can use your own, if you have some leftover brisket, by all means, put it in your air fryer and make some crispy crumbs with it. You can use crispy ground beef, whatever meat you want. This is very flexible. You just need a, a base and add-ons to your liking. So uh, all entirely up to you. So then the final, uh, the final piece of this puzzle, this is what makes them the holiday bars. And again, if you are pure carnivore and would not let these touch your lips, that's fine. Just leave them out. Um, but I want to, everyone to know the option is there they are not sweet tasting. Now what I did is I used fresh cranberries. You can get them fresh or frozen at this time of year around Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving for us. So I just wanted to show you, um, I've cut them up uh, into, depending on the size, uh, each cranberry I just cut in half. There's only a quarter cup cranberries. So this is all I've done. I just made little slices like that. They're still partially frozen. That makes them very easy to slice. You will get red hands though. So just to let you know. So we've got quarter cup of these, quarter cup of these, a packet of these, and our stick of butter or uh, half a stick of butter and half a stick of tallow as I'm using today. You can also use all tallow, four ounces. So I'm going to pour it in here. Now I'm going to, before I do that, so I have, this is an air fryer liner that happens to be the size that I want. I have a pan somewhere that is this size and do you think I could find it? No. So this is, I'm improvising here and uh, it should maintain its shape. I didn't think of it when I made the other bars last week. So I'm just going to pour it in. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Just going to grab a spatula. Let's get the rest of those bits, the brown bits and... Okay, so we have our base that we can work from now. Uh, I am going to just break these bacon bits up a bit more and just kind of spread those around. There won't be anything perfect or scientific about this. It's just trying to get an even disbursement of bacony taste throughout the bar. And then we have the brisket. I will put my link below. Um, uh, you will get, if you use my link, you'll get 10% off if you would like to order these. But as I said, you can put your own add-ins in. And for that matter, you can render your own tallow I just, I just don't have time these days. So for me, these types of things are very convenient. Okay, so this is crumbled enough. Okay, I think I got them all out, but I want to just, uh, just kind of spread them evenly. Okay, so now, as I said, this is what makes them the holiday bar. So I am going to disperse these as well. Even though there's no sweetener in here, when you take a bite of this bar and you get that burst of the tart cranberry, honest to goodness, it just feels like you're having some kind of holiday treat. So I think this is good for carnivores who are a little more relaxed on a holiday. You know, maybe they will 
add some asparagus or something else to their meal that day. Sweets, of course, would be a little dangerous for most, most of us who have any addictive personalities. You know, you could probably even get away with less cranberries than that, but here we are. I'm going all festive. And I like to push them down into the uh, base so that when this bar freezes or hardens, those cranberries stay put and don't fall off when you pick up the bar. A couple of them might, so just do your best. Okay, so then this will go in the freezer. That's what it looks like now. And uh, we'll be back shortly. It doesn't take long. I I'm gonna guess about a half hour that these, these will be hard. Uh, so yeah, once it's sort of like a white crust, you'll, you'll see that they're hard. So we'll be back in the next segment to cut them up and give them a taste test. Okay, so these look pretty solid now. It's been about half an hour. Uh, my plan is to cut it into eight pieces. You do want to keep these in the freezer until you are ready to serve them. They should stay solid, uh, you know, if you've got them out on a plate, but they definitely will soften slightly depending on how long they're out on the plate, but they'll still be firm. So, so I'm going to uh, try to cut these into eight pieces. The cranberries get pretty firm, so <laughs> I might, yeah, I, I figured a couple of them would bounce off. This is why I was saying to try to get the cranberries into the batter, and I, I don't think I did enough of that. Okay, so there's our, our bars. I want to tell you what the macros are. So the macros for one eighth of this recipe, 160 calories, 0 0.4 total carbs, protein 3.6, fat 15.7. So these are basically like a fat bomb almost um, with a little bit of protein content. I'm going to, since this one broke, these aren't in my food plan for today. So I'm just going to take a piece off, just have a mouthful. They're really good. They're chewy because of the bacon bits and the brisket crumbs, those two meats in particular, will make this chewy in a good way. It's a, it's a good chewy. And then you've got that burst of flavor from the cranberry and the softness of the, in this case, the browned butter gives it uh, just a little more flavor than if you use all tallow. But I like the all tallow ones too. And if you are dairy free, the all tallow ones are the best option for you. So uh, yeah, these are the holiday carnivore-ish bars and uh, I hope you give them a try. I think they are going to look super on a charcuterie board or on a treat table. They are a treat. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think or if you try them down below and I will see you guys on the next video. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. These aren't in my food plan for today. So you know that my head is cut off, right? Do I need to do it again? Yes. Mark. Awesome. Thank you so much.